Hi everyone, this is Justin Neuer with Philip Chevrolet in Frankfurt, here to show you some of the features on the 2015 Chevrolet Traverse. Now, the Chevy Traverse is one of the vehicles that took the place of the Trailblazer um, when they were making that in the mid-2000s. If you want to come over here to the side, it is one of three SUVs and crossovers that we have that offers three rows. So the first row here, second row. Most people don't know this, on sheer cargo space, this is actually bigger than the Tahoe. Um, so it is a, a appropriately big car. It's a very much a family car, very, very smooth ride, long wheelbase, large tires, uh, and it's kind of the, the ultimate road trip car if you need that. So let's, let's do a brief vehicle walk around. Now this is a 1LT package. Okay, and this has, also has the style and technology package, meaning that you get the 20-inch painted aluminum wheels, which I think look very nice. The outside of this color, or this car, the color is champagne silver metallic. It is a three-coat um, uh, color process. I think it looks really nice. You've got a metallic flake to it, and it's also a very durable paint. We come around here to the back. I think they did a really, really nice job with the uh, outside the tail lamps. Look very nice. We've got parking sensors down here at the bottom. This one, again, has the style and technology package. You've got a rear vision camera right here. Okay. If your traverse that you're looking at or uh, has a tow hitch or you add one on later, this is actually mounted right above where the ball would go. So if you needed to hook up to a trailer at any time you were by yourself, you can do it the first time, every single time, the right way. Open up the back here real quick. And excuse our garbage. Now, one of the things that I really like about the Traverse over a lot of other SUVs is not only how much space is in it, but how easy it is to access the space. Now I'm going to go over this. The second row does slide forward and back. We'll get that later. So you can see just how much space is in this car, even with the second row up. Okay, very easy to use, ton of space. To bring these back up, all you've got to do is pull these slides or pull these handles. Comes right back up. It's not difficult. It's very easy. Shut this room. Got another storage area right here, and this is going to be actually be the access to your spare tire. You can see the little notch right there. Coming around, like I said, this does slide forward and back for the second row. What you need to do is grab this handle right here, okay? When you do that, forward and back. Second row also reclines, there's a handle. You can get this on camera right here. Okay, this does two features. Okay, first one is it reclines it all the way back. Uh, so if you have a taller passenger in the back or the second row, they can have a little bit more room to be a little bit more comfortable. The second feature that it does is it will allow you to push the second row all the way forward so that if you need to get somebody in the back, you can very easily. There's the second row for the Traverse. This one has captain's chairs. You can get it with a bench as well. Captain's chairs are really uh, a nice thing to have, especially if you've got kids, multiple kids that want to travel through the back. With the bench, it can be a little bit harder to get into the third row with the captains. They just hop in, go to the back, strap up, and they're good to go. Okay, so as we're looking here at the dash and the center console, we've got some of the miling features that I'll go through here in a second. I like the way they've laid out this car. It's very user-friendly. Um, so if we can get the camera here at the center console. We've got a touch screen here really quick so we can see 
backup camera with guidance lines that are active. So if I turn the wheel, those turn with me. They will show me where I'm going to end up with my current holding on the steering wheel. Put this back in park. We go to our home screen. This is the MyLink layout here. You got your now playing AM, FM, XM, Bluetooth, CD player. You can stream Pandora. You can also stream Stitcher Smart Radio. Text messages. Uh, this car has the capability to actually read text messages that are inbound to you and reply. There's a few preset messages. You can also set custom ones as well. You can stream uh, music through Bluetooth. You can use this as a picture viewer once you hook up to the USB. That's right down here. Okay. You've got heated seats for the driver and passenger right here. You've got back only and back and butt. This one has dual climate control, meaning that the front pass or the driver and the passenger in the front can have one temperature. We press our rear button right here, and if we can get a camera angle here, your buttons right here will control hot and cold, where the air or heat comes out. If you want to go up top, which we have vents right here, okay, for the back passengers, they can control that. Or if you want to be in mommy and daddy mode and just kind of lock that down, you can be in control of it, which I always love. A ton of storage on this car. Okay, got a really nice deep well here. My wife actually has a traverse. She always throws her sunglasses or anything that uh, she doesn't want breaking right in that. You've got window lockout right here, which I absolutely love. Keeps the kids from doing this. Which uh, seems like whenever I'm talking to other parents, all their kids love to do that. So you can lock them out just like that. Now, one of the things that I do like about the Traverse, again, it is user friendly. So let's say that I'm listening to FM right now, okay? If you look down here at your presets, I have XM, FM, XM, AM, and FM, okay? It's all the same preset. You don't have to switch your source and then go to your presets. They're all on one. Now you have five here. You have a total of 30 presets. If you look down here, it says favorites, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you can set up to 30 presets. You don't have to worry about anything. Just scroll through here on your steering wheel and that'll go through all your presets so just like that and as you can see on the MyLink system I'm just scrolling right through now cruise control on this side we've got our Bluetooth uh, and radio controls here on this side volume controls right here again I was scrolling through the presets there you can change your source with this button if you've got uh, a CD playing you can always skip your tracks with either one of these two buttons right there windshield wipers right here you've got ambient lighting across the dash there's actually a, a, a blue LED strip that is integrated right here so when you're in the dark this will actually light up blue it'll light up blue here and a couple other spots on the dash you can turn that off over here. You've got dome lights, uh, fog lights on this one. You've got our home link right here. So instead of actually having the garage door opener that crushes and kind of destroys your sun visor, you can program it here. Two microphones for Bluetooth. Uh, so call clarity is fantastic on these. One here, one here. You don't have to sh shout, yell. You would talk the way I'm talking right now. They can hear you perfectly clear whenever you're making a phone call. So I think that really does it on the Traverse. There's a couple more storage features that I'll get to in the next video. But uh, if you have any questions, my name is Justin. Feel free to contact me at Philip Chevrolet in Frankfurt. Number's at the bottom of the screen. My direct extension is 318. We'll talk to you soon.